Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Monley's World of Weather. It clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for August 13th to 27th. First of all, um, a front has moved through the, the east or parts of the east and northeast Mid Atlantic region, and we're experiencing a break from the extreme heat. Temperatures have been in the 80s, lower humidity. And what we're going to take a look here is where this air has come from over the last 364 uh, hours, I think it is. But came all the way here from northern Canada and dropped down in, into the mid-Atlantic region. I always like to look and see what air I'm breathing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is what the um, trajectory of the air mass that came into the northeast. Okay, um, we're going to take a look for the period for August 13th to 17th. And we see we have a trough ridge trough configuration. We also have a trough here near the Aleutians, another, I mean, a ridge out by the Aleutians and another trough near the Aleutians, you're just south. And you see this is how the pattern progresses as we go through the period. Um, we have a warm ridge across the central and southern states, as I showed you here. And uh, the ridge forecast expand into the west early in the week, which will bring well above normal temperatures. The ridge will also uh, maintain a monsoonal flow into the southwestern Rockies much of next week. And we'll take a look at that at the surface. See, here's a flow. This is the um, GFS shows a well. Precipitation extend all the way into the Rockies. And we have a frontal boundary draped across Florida. And that'll cause um, rain and storms. And energy rounding the ridge will bring um, rain and storms to the Midwest this weekend. See, once it's in here. All right. Uh, looking ahead for the period for August 18th to 22nd. Uh, we have a ridge near the Aleutians. We have a trough here, this upper level that develops it's south of the Aleutians. And we have a, uh, a ridge here in the west, trough here in the east. So miles are good agreement with this. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for, always at this point, calling for above normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies to be about 12 degrees or more in some locations basically across this region. Below normal temperatures forecast here with the anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees below normal. And for precipitation, Calling for above normal precipitation here, and for this region, probability of occurrence is near 40%. Below normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence is near 35%. Looking ahead for the period for um, August 23rd to 27th, um, little overall change is forecast. Still have our trough ridge trough configuration, although some of the height anomalies are weaker compared to the previous period. Also, I want to take a look. Here is the um, jet stream, and we'll put it into motion. Here's a jet stream. Um, I think it was a couple days ago. We'll go forward. We'll step ahead. Okay, and here it is today. See your little dip? It kind of goes this way. You can follow it. Let me see if I can write it. Kind of goes in this way. And then we go forward, um, let's see. Doesn't want to go forward, but there'll be a dip further down here. Nothing ever works right. I don't know what, what it is. But then there's a little dip here across the northeast as we get further into um, Thursday and Friday, bringing in cooler air 
in drier conditions, that's when the real relief air comes in. Okay, so um, let me see if I can close this. Okay, we're going to look at the period. Uh, we looked at the period before. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for Let me see if I can get Well, uh, anyway, now it's frozen. Um there is some westward shift in the in the pattern retrogression of the trough, more so into um, the Midwest Ohio Valley, and um, that could be the case. Calling for um, mainly above normal temperatures for much of the Rockies, with anomalies of 12 degrees or more, and the greatest anomalies be across the north, uh, the Northwest. And then we have below normal temperatures for the most of the four corners, the central and southern plains, lower Mississippi Valley, Ohio, and Tennessee Valleys, with the anomalies there four degrees uh, below normal. And the change in the precipitation pattern from the previous period is to include uh, much of Texas and the remainder of the Gulf Coast into 35% probability of below normal precipitation. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for August. 13th to 27th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mungley's World of Weather and have a good day.